and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing uh, my lipstick collection and try on video. Um, this, video this video might be a little bit long um, just because I have kind of a lot of lipsticks um, and there will be a lot of jump cuts. So just bear with me. Um, I'm gonna apply these the best that I can. They might be a little bit messy. I don't know. Um, but we're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna do this together. Never done a video like this before. So let's just jump into it. So I have two baskets of lipsticks here. These are the ones I don't use as much, and these are the ones I use a lot. So we're gonna start with these, and these are pretty much all MAC except for two of them. So first we're gonna start with this lipstick by Lunatic Cosmetic Labs and this is in RPG and I'll just put it on for you. So this is RPG. I don't love it as much as I thought that I would but it's not a bad lipstick. It's just hard to roll up sometimes like I was like just look it's kind of difficult and like I um, explained in a previous video the packaging is really super cheapy um i just wish i mean these are expensive products i'm not gonna lie lunatic cosmetics labs are expensive products so i feel like they could invest in better packaging than this but it's a good product and i'm not really gonna knock it because this is pretty good and i like it i have one lime crime lipstick and this is in the color poison berry and it is a dark dark purple and i'm warning you now this does not show up well on my lips if i don't put concealer over it and I'm not putting concealer um, just for this video so just bear with me. Okay so I didn't apply this super neatly and it could definitely do with some cleaning up around the edges but this was poison berry and it's it showed up better than I thought or than I remembered it showing up um, but when I wear it out I do use a primer I like or not primer but I do conceal my lips so that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's just like hard to get a clean line, you know, and obviously didn't use a lip liner or anything for this video, so that's the color. Now I'm moving into my MAC lipsticks, and the one that I use the most often is Syrup, and that is a luster, and it looks like this. So this is syrup and my lips are a little bit pinker because I just did that lime crime lipstick. So uh, my lips are a little bit more pink than they usually would be. So this is not a bright pink lipstick. It's, um, it's a lot lighter than this color, but the natural, it kind of just enhances the natural color of your lips. And my lips just happen to be stained kind of bright pink right now um, because of this lipstick. So, uh, do not be afraid if you're thinking about buying syrup. It is not super bright pink. It's, um, it just kind of enhances your lip color. So, whatever lip color you have, I mean, it's just going to kind of enhance it. That's the color. See, this is not bright pink. Um, I just want to let you guys know that. So, my next favorite MAC lipstick is Brave. And this is a color that Kylie Jenner uses a lot. And it just suits my lips really well. It is a pinky nude and my lips are pretty dark. So regular nude lipsticks do not work super well for me. Um, so I'm just going to put this on now. So this is what Brave looks like. It is a pretty matte feeling lipstick. But I'm pretty sure it's not. It is a... Let me check. It is a satin. But it does feel like it's matte. Um... So it's just a nice pinky, nudey color, and it's not super glossy. So if you don't like glossy lipsticks, then this is going to work well for you if you like this color. Um, it did pretty well at covering up the stained portion. So this is pretty true to color because um, this does cover your lips pretty well. I mean, it's pretty opaque. So that's brave. So the next matte lipstick is Whirl. And this is a pretty famous brownish lipstick, I think. Um, and so I'm going to put it on. So this is Whirl, and I absolutely love this lipstick. I am, I've been obsessed with brown lipsticks lately. And this is like the one. Also ignore this gross staining around the side. It 
poison berry is really hard to get off, okay? So just ignore that for the duration of this video, okay? Um, because just focus on my lipstick. Don't focus on that. Don't look at that. Don't, don't look at it. Just look at this. So this is floral and it's super, super pretty and I love it, especially for winter and fall. Or if you're just super grunge and punk all the time, this is awesome. So this next MAC lipstick is a limited edition and this is Among the Fireflies, which is a cream sheen and it's from the Fairy Whispers collection, I believe. It's pretty similar to Whirl, but it's not as like opaque and matte. So this is Among the Fireflies and it's kind of just like a hint of brown. It just kind of browns, browns your natural lip color a little bit. And this is pretty glossy. Um, which I actually like for this um, lipstick and I usually do put a gloss over it that matches this pretty well. I usually use a Smashbox lip gloss and I will um, put it down below the one that I use with this lipstick. So the next um, MAC lipstick that I have is Quell Surprise and I think this was limited edition too and it's a really purpley color. I was planning on wearing this a bunch this fall but dark lipstick is hard to wear and to get right on your lips so I don't really wear dark lipstick that much but I'm about to. So this is Quill Surprise and it's a berry, just pretty much a berry uh, color and I think it's really really pretty um, especially if you're good at like staying inside the lines of your lips. I think this is really super pretty. Um, it really wasn't that hard to apply this time, um, but I'm not trying to be perfect. I just want it to look semi-decent and all the foundation around my lips is like off at this point and I'm sure I look like a ratchet mess, but whatever. I'm doing this video for you guys so you can see. So this is Quail Surprise. I feel like it's still available on Mac's website. If it is, I will link it down below. I will link all these, um, things down below if they're still available and so you can get your hands on them your little your little paws on them if you want them then this mac lipstick is in the color diva and i haven't worn this in such a long time um but it is like a deep red color and i usually don't wear red lipstick but when i do i love it <laughs> like i love red lipstick it's so pretty i think it looks so good on everybody like every skin tone just everything you can't go wrong with a red lip let's be real so this is diva and i told you guys this is like a legit red color but this though is so hard to apply without getting it everywhere i don't know i, I love dark lipstick but i hate lipstick I have a love-hate relationship because of the difficult application but once it's on I'm like yes feeling myself mm. so anyways that's Diva and it is a matte I'm pretty sure yeah Diva's a matte so now I'm moving on to these MAC um, Vamplify these are supposedly lip glosses, but they are so opaque that they're basically liquid lipsticks. And I think you can still grab these on the website, even though they said they weren't going to be out for that long. Um, like I said, I will link down below, so I'm going to try these. Um, this one is in Tuned In, which I know is sold out, so you can't get this one. But I'm pretty sure this is still in stock, and this is the color She Rebel. Um, so I will try both of these on. So this is Tuned In. Um, and I love these so much because they apply so easily, like ignore the staining around my lips from the other lipstick, but this goes on so easily and it does not dry matte. This is, it stays glossy like this, but I love it. It's like so hydrating. It feels really hydrating on your lips, surprisingly. Um, but I love this stuff. I've never tried a liquid lipstick from any other company. I don't think this is supposed to be a lipstick. But I wear it as a lipstick, um, and I really, really love this stuff. So this is tuned in. So now it's time for She Rebel. So this is She Rebel, and I have not worn this out yet, um, simply because it's extremely hard to apply in such a way that it looks good. Um, because it's so dark um, and opaque purple, it looks really strange if your actual lip is showing, like your 
pink lip and it is down here um just because I was scared to get it all over my face um but this is what she rebel looks like yeah this is a really messy application I'm sorry you guys but this is a really hard um lip gloss lipstick to rock um but it's really cute so if you can rock it I definitely say go for it and try to rock it because it's not really working for me okay so now we're moving to lipsticks and stuff that I don't use as often but I still like first let's start off with this Mary Kay lipstick and this is in amber suede and I don't know if you can get this or how to get this my grandma gave this to me but this is what it looks like so this is amber suede and I don't really like the way that it looks just like on its own but I always put a lip gloss over it I use a Smashbox like clear sparkly lip gloss and it makes it look a ton like so much better um I don't love it the way that it just is by itself but this is amber suede so this is another Mary Kay lipstick and this is in Cherry's Jubilee. I don't even, this is really hard to open. I think I put a lip gloss over this too and it's a red color. I have not worn this thing in forever, but it's really pretty so let's try it. So this is Cherry's Jubilee and it's a super bright red and you have to kind of be careful because you can get it out of the lines. I kind of did, but you know, it'd be like that sometimes. So this is Mary Kay Cherry's Jubilee. Next, we have this Maybelline 14 hour super stay. And um, this should be still available because I got this for Christmas. And this is in the color Please Stay Plum 095. So this is Please Stay Plum. Um, and it's really nice. It smells really nice. I like the way this smells. It smells like berries and it's really, it's a really pretty color too. Um, you'll kind of, I guess you guys can know now what kind of lipstick colors that I like by seeing this video, but I do like dark lipsticks, berry colored lipsticks. They're just hard to apply as I've said like 1200 times in this video, but yeah, this is Please Stay Plum. And then the very last lipstick that I have is this Estee Lauder um, lipstick and this is in Coral Melon and I never wear this um, I, like by itself. I always mix this with something because it is a hot, hot coral color. Like I always mix this with something else. This looks awful on me and you guys are going to know in just a second. This is like the most unflattering color ever on me it's not good it's just this bright hot coral color and I hate this on me it would be beautiful on people with deeper skin tones like tan or just like <laughs> anything that's not pasty white this would look awesome but on me I am Casper the friendly ghost um, and it's just kind of a nightmare Thank you guys so so much for watching me today even if this video is kind of long I hope it was fun for you guys I had fun trying on lipsticks that I haven't tried on in forever um, so leave me a like if you like this video comment down below and subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Friday and thank you guys once again so so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys next time